guys. Today I'm gonna answer a question that I get asked a lot every day. Um, and like I got an email here and a couple of messages on Facebook uh, about people who are struggling to lose weight. I get a lot of messages, uh, people in person talk to me and they always tell me, you know, I just can't seem to lose weight. How did you do it? How are you doing it? How did you lose 100 pounds? Um, you know, what are, what are the, some of the steps I should take? And, you know, I always come up with the same answer. I always ask them first, like, what do you guys do? What, what are you guys doing right now to lose the weight or to achieve your goals? And I always get the same answers, you know, they're like, oh, well, you know, I just hear a bunch of stuff about diets, like people telling me they do Atkins diets or a bunch of, bunch of diets that I've never even heard of before. And so I ask them, you know, what about the gym? Do you go to the gym, do you exercise regularly? And they say, yeah, you know, they do, but it's hard for them to stay on track and it's hard for them to get motivated and pushed to go to the gym and work out. For me, <clears throat> when I first started my weight loss journey, I didn't know what I was doing. I had to go to the gym and just that was hard enough. Like that was half the battle. So I would go to the gym and I literally would just do cardio. Just that's all I knew. I didn't really want to step into the weight training area or do any machines because I was just not comfortable with doing that. Just doing cardio every day. That's what I thought. You know, that was my mindset of that's going to make me lose a lot of weight. And little did I know that I was completely off track. Nobody was guiding me. And so I had to learn the hard way. I had to be a guinea pig for myself. To answer the question, and I keep the video real short, is that, you know, people who are struggling to lose weight, whatever it is, take, take it step by step. Take it little by little. You don't want to just jump into something crazy, especially if you've never worked out before. If you were just a beginner at all this stuff, uh, you don't want to just start your diet and start cutting out a bunch of stuff that you think is bad for you. Like I had a few people tell me, hey, what about if I cut out like carbs completely? And I'm like, you know, I used to think the same way, but you need carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, they're good for you. They store back your glycogen stores, especially after training. Consistency. Consistency is very important. I have a lot of people that, you know, came up to me for advice or that I trained in the past that just weren't consistent. They would hop on the wagon, start training, and then they would fall off because it was too hard for them. And I could understand and I could see why, but if you have the right mindset and you tell yourself to go to the gym, like you make it a job to go to the gym, try that and see how that changes your mindset. Like make it a habit. And I believe as everybody, it doesn't matter, as everyone should exercise at least an hour a day. You have 24 hours in a day, don't tell me you don't have one hour to exercise. Because I could put people through a 30 minute workout and that'll be good enough for them for the day. But do I suggest that? No. One hour is good. So being consistent, go to the gym. That's half the battle, just making it to the gym. Because once you're at the gym, you're already there. What are you going to do? You have to work out. This whole thing about exercising and all that and weight loss in general is a lifestyle. It's not a program that you want to try and complete and then say, okay, yeah, I lost all this weight and now I'm done. I just sit back and relax. I graduated. It's not like that. It's an ongoing process. You always have to stay consistent and you have to maintain it. Just like me, when I lost 100 pounds, I didn't just stop there. I said, okay, you know, I lost 100 pounds. I don't want to lose any more weight. I just want to keep going. I want to keep pushing and try new things and experiment with my body because I have fun with it. It's, it's very, uh, it's like therapy for me to do all this stuff. So for those people who are really just struggling to lose weight, I mean, to be honest, it's not impossible. It's, it's, it's hard, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna make a lot of sacrifices and you gotta be very dedicated, but it's not impossible. Everybody out there, anybody can do it. There's no magic pill. There's no secret to this stuff. It's literally all about being consistent and being dedicated to what you want. If you want something bad enough, you gotta do everything and anything, make all the sacrifices to get it. This journey, it's like going to college. You can't expect to get a diploma and graduate if you don't even attend and do the work. It's the same thing. You can't expect to lose weight if you're half-assing it. If you gotta go to the gym, you gotta dial in your diet, you gotta do it every day, be consistent, work hard towards your goal, so then you can graduate. But if you do graduate, so to say, don't be happy just right there. You gotta keep moving, you gotta maintain it. That's the kind of mindset that I set to my clients so that they can get an idea, they can get a picture of what this whole thing is about. It's it's a lifestyle, it's not 
a program. I have a lot of questions from a lot of people like on Snapchat, Instagram, you know, they always ask me a bunch of questions and it's just hard to reach out to all of them and type to all of them. So I'm just gonna probably just make videos and just answer all you guys' questions as far as what I know so I can share with you guys my advice. Hope you guys have a good day. I hope I answered your guys' question. Stay committed, stay consistent. Have a wonderful day.